Uh, well, like most of our fans, like I, if I was to say some for them, they all agree that Zone Out Music Two is crazy, and uh, look. Yeah, little do they know, like, Zone Out Music 1 was crazy, too. Can you, like, can you explain how your growth from both of those, like, I know the first one you wasn't working with Young Money and this one you were. Can you explain, like, the difference and the growth in between both of them? Well, the difference is the first one, I kind of, I kind of recorded that shit in the like, in the crib, like, in Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That was just kind of like a moment, like I ain't have no deal, really. And it's like, man, fuck it, I gotta put a tape out. Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have something on the radio, and I gotta have something in these streets. I gotta have some shit on this internet. Like that's around the time where that in it, all the internet shit, like really was kicking in. Yeah. And if people know, like Zone Out Season was one of the first mixtapes. If I, I don't know if it was, but that might have been the first mixtape I ever made a free mixtape like a down you could download it you know yeah. what I'm saying uh -huh. and I, put, I think I put it on my MySpace page and so many people started feeling it I'm like man fuck it I'm gonna press it up That this is really how this mixtape went like it wasn't like I didn't do it with a DJ like I was just really, I didn't have no deal it was just like I was just doing this shit out the crib like I put the like I put the format together took songs I had I took some photos sent it to a nigga I know that dude editing like everything was free I just I don't even think I've spent my own money on pressing zone out season up. I think my home, like I know my homie LA and my homie Just, they each gave me three hundred dollars. Yeah. Never forget. <laughs> they each gave me three hundred dollars to press up a thousand CDs, and that's how I started moving them. And in between that, I think I had a highlight of play on zone out season one. Yeah. And I was getting a lot of radio airplay with that. And from that, that's how I call Wayne, like get on the remix for me if it's cool. And he was like, send me the record. That, that's how I hollered at him and that's how I became Young Money but the reason why I never put out like the, the the separation between Zone Out Season 1 and Zone Out Season 2 is almost two years uh -huh. I ain't put no mixtapes out and that's a reason why I didn't do that because when I first got around Young Money it was almost to a point where I didn't know if I was gonna be there long like I didn't know if I was gonna fit in mm -hmm. you know like Wayne used to tell me a lot like you know it's a it's a it's something that you gotta understand like that way you rap I used to do that shit like a long time ago and it's, it's like they not gonna know what you're saying like when you get up on that stage like I perform a lot yeah like you gonna be with me like when you get up on that stage you don't want to start yada 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 and the people just looking at you waiting for you to get back to the hook he was like a, a prime example is when you go on when we go on the road and you see me perform at this time we wasn't young money. Every girl in the world, Carter Three, wasn't even out yet. But this, this was his mentality. Like, if you see me when I perform those, when I perform Best Rapper Alive, mm -hmm. they don't know what I'm saying. They don't know coming live from the, They don't know none of that. After Best Rapper Alive, the Best Rapper, they don't know nothing else until it gets back to the Best Rapper Alive. Yeah. And I'm kind of listening to what he's saying. I'm like, damn, for a while, he kind of... I really don't understand what he's saying. It's like, it, it, to me, it's like you kind of trying to get me to change the way I rap. And it's like, no, I'm not trying to get, he wasn't trying to get me to change the way I rap. He's trying to get me to adapt to what the people that are going to spend money on your shit vigorously. Yeah. Want. Like, they don't really want it. They don't want the Smack DVD shit. They don't really want the Enes battle. Mm -hmm. They, they, they want to hear it here and there. But when you get up on that stage, they want to be able to say your shit with you. They want to be able to, they want to be able to feel your shit and be able to recite it with you like they you. They want to feel it. They want to be you like they fans. Yeah. They, they don't want to try to figure your shit out. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of, that was the, the separation between the whole zone out season one and the whole zone out season two. Yeah. And when they came to the time where I was like, you know what? I got a gang of songs. I'm recording a bunch of shit. Ain't none of it. It's not like I'm leaking anything from the Young Money album. It ain't like I'm leaking records that I got with Wayne that I don't know what we're going to do with yet. Like, I still got a gang of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the artists with you, like, I'm about to put on Zone on Season 3 in about another another month. Uh-huh. And, it, it, and I, I just put out Zone on Season 2, and then I just put out the Virgo mixing, but the only reason why I'm doing this is because it's a flood. We're in demand right now, so why not? Exactly. When you're not in demand, nobody wants to hear 
none of the shit that you're putting out. You could put out a million mixtapes in 365 days. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear one of them if you ain't in demand. Uh-huh. Right now, Young Money is in demand. So to me, it's like, even though we touring the world, we doing this, we recording this album, let me just throw something out there. Why not? I'm just sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sitting on some fire records. Yeah. And it's some, you know, it's about time we just throw some shit out. Yeah, so I I, said, why not? Yeah, well, um, tell us. Can you kind of tell us about? Uh, Cause I know you're Young Money right now, but I'm, our fans may not remember you did a track with the Bring It Back remix with Fabulous and Wayne. The yeah. how, how did that come about? Uh, I think you know I had the Bring It Back original song with Jada Kiss, and I think it was on Funk Master Flex. Uh, it was on Funk Master Flex car show album. It was really a song that was for my album when I was on Universal at that time. I was about to put an album out, but we didn't have a date and everything was going back and forth. I was kind of like on a shelf. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, I don't want to let the record go to waste. I'm kind of getting radio spins with it. And Flex was about to put an album out here on the radio every day. He got these car shows. Was like, why not give him the record if he wanted? Mm-hmm. So we approached him with it. He was like, cool. He took the record in. He blew the record up, but of course there was never no video for it. But the record was a big record in the club and on the radio. So I'm, you know, just me being the person I am, I'm trying to figure out a way to keep the record hot, <laughs> like stretch the record and keep it going, hoping like maybe the label will pick up some slack and just be like, man, we're gonna shoot a video, this shit is just hot. So we got Fab, we lay a verse on it, and I laid a verse on it. And then I called that Wayne, I was like, y'all got this verse from Fab for this record I got on the rail. And he was like, it was the first time I met Wayne. He was just really like, and just give me the beat. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, man, like, that's a, a cool thing. They don't want no money, they don't want no nothing. Like, just give him the beat. And he was in New York. We went by the studio and he did this shit right there on the spot. Yeah. And like, that was really, that's what really kind of made me like not have so much pride when it came to asking him to get on the highlight of player even. And it was the same thing. He just said sit on the beat. He ain't want no money, no nothing. That's what let me know what type of relationship I have with Wayne. Yeah. That's that's crazy, man. Alright, so let's uh move up to date. Like I heard that y'all are gonna be shooting a music video for Bear Rock next week. Is this true? I don't know exactly how true it is. Mm-hmm. So I can't really can't give you the confirmation on that. Yeah, it can't. We're shooting the video soon, though. You can't give us any details about it? Uh, well, we, we had we had a, a full treatment of how we want to get the video, but I mm-hmm. you know, we always make last-minute changes. We all got our own little creative mind. Yeah. <laughs> we all come to the round table and come up with something, but... Yeah. Whatever we do, whenever we come together, we just always gonna make it fun. We don't ever wanna have no no boring video. Like we all we all like artists in our own world, we got our own fans when we come together. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of people that that, that love us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Genuinely, like as solo artists, as individuals, as people, as a group, as a label, as a crew, they just they love us. So we always just wanna make this shit look fun, so yeah. We learned our lesson with the BT awards, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, not gonna go, we, we're not gonna go overboard because like the critics can take something that you're just trying to do for a good cause just out of fun, and they can just turn it into something crazy. So yeah, okay. So uh, so we 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 gonna we gonna watch it this time. We we still gonna make it. We are gonna make it exciting. Just look out for the video coming real soon. Okay.